So, my name is Conrad. Uh, I'm working at Netcentric, and I'm also a member of the uh, Apache Sling PMC. So, I'm going to talk about Sling serverlet annotations. So, you might wonder why. <laughs> um, I'm not talking about the old Sling serverlet annotations, so I'm talking about the new ones. So, basically, the ones which have been possible with uh, OSGI R7. Um, so let's have a quick look in the history. Uh, so what has been there in the past and why you should no longer use those. Uh, so there has been the famous Sling Surflet. That was actually quite good. <laughs> um, but um, so it was very, very explicit. Uh, you didn't have to remember anything. So it basically is one annotation with uh, multiple elements uh, which allow you to specify exactly, okay, for which resource type do I want to register, for which selectors, and all the filter possibilities that you basically have. Um, there is one big drawback, and which is this is basically deprecated. So uh, you should no longer use that because it depends on the Maven SCR plugin, and um, you should remove that plugin rather sooner than later. Um, then with OSGI um, R5, I think, actually, there were uh, uh, annotations being introduced by OSGI themselves. So these were the first official annotations which have been in the spec. Um, they have a very weird syntax, if you ask me. Um, so they, uh, you, I always have to look that up, to be honest. And also, it gets even, even weirder. Uh, if you have to give a specific type which is different than a string. Um, so uh, not that nice if you ask me, and also you have to remember all those constants or um, even worse um, string values you type in here. Um, so uh, I don't like that. But there is a better approach now. So there is the new um, annotations which look very similar to the old ones. Um, with slight differences, I would say. Um, so uh, basically, how you use that is very simple. Uh, so Sling Surflet resource types registers this particular surflet um, to a resource type that you've given here. Um, so you see the difference to the first example is that uh, it already says in the annotation, OK, I want to bind my Sling Surflet to a resource type and not to a path. And the reason for that is that actually you have a lot of different op uh, possibilities on what you can leverage, what kind of filter capabilities, uh, because they differ a lot between those two approaches, uh, resource type versus path. Are there any drawbacks? No. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, obviously, there are some prerequisites uh, you need to fulfill to actually leverage that. Um, so one prerequisite is you need to somehow leverage BND in the version 4.0 or newer. So 4.0 is currently the latest release. Um, that version of BND ships with the BND Maven plugin and also with the recently released Maven bundle plugin, both in version 4.0 or newer. Um, the second prerequisite is that it actually, whenever you use those annotations, um, your surflets have a runtime dependency on declarative services 1.3. That should not be a real issue because um, this is supported since AEM 6.1. Um, you need to add this specific Maven dependency. You can see we are already at version 1.1.0. Um, so this is the second version. Uh, thanks to Nicola, who added that. Um, nice uh, sling filter um, features for um, registering to a certain extension and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so uh, quickly, uh, let's have a look at uh, the other important annotation, which is sling surflet pass. So this is basically the way on how you would register your surflet to a specific path. 
Uh, beware of the drawbacks, though. So there is a Sling documentation page which uh, elaborates a bit on the drawbacks using a path. And then there's a Sling filter. I don't want to go into detail here. Um, so, so much about that. Let's have a little fun with a little quiz, because while I was implementing those annotations, I learned a lot about um, Sling servlets and registration and some of their pitfalls. So let's consider you do have a servlet which is registered to this particular resource type named my component one and the selector my selector one. And then you have a repo which has a content node, a resource below content my content one, and the resource type is apps my component. So now the question does this particular request? URL match or not? What do you think? Does it match? Hands up if you think that matches. No one dares. I should have probably asked the other way around. Um, it does not match, but um, the reason is probably not that well known. It does not match because uh, you've registered your resource type to a, a relative resource type. And this is working a little bit different than the usual resource resolver search path. So basically, the default setting of Sling and AEM is that whenever you register a servlet with the re, um, relative resource type, it will prepend slash lips. Um, so for all the guys which are not Adobe, <laughs> usually this is not what you want. <laughs> Uh, so let's have a quick look at a second example. Um, so in this case, I registered to the absolute resource type. In this case, apps my component one, selector my selector one, and for a particular extension, namely HTML. So does this thing match? Um, so it doesn't, and um, this might uh, come as a surprise uh, for you, because um, it's, it's a post request, and by default, um, only get and had requests are registered, unless you explicitly say, um, I want to have this registered for a post as well. So the next one is a get request um, with two different selectors. Again, the question, does it match? No. Why? Because the selectors are in the wrong order. So basically, whenever you specify a specific selector for your servlet, um, you need to pay attention that this selector appears as the first selector in the request URL, because otherwise it will not match. And now the last example, um, just the selector switched. Finally, hooray, we have a working, working example. So. That's it. Uh, some references where you can look at basically, and you can also follow the very vivid discussion we had while um, this thing has been implemented. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, also you can look up at uh, most probably the best resource is um, the, the integration test if you want to leverage those annotations. That's it. Thanks a lot. <laughs>